And in this video, we have an interesting little word problem that involves these two terms, the median and the mean. Of course, you're going to need to understand what those two words mean in order to do this problem. But uh, let's go ahead and read the problem. It says the median of x, 2x, 3x, and 5x is 25. And the question is, what is the mean? So we're going to have to do some algebra in order to solve this problem, but I'm going to give you a full opportunity to solve this thing all on your own. So if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second, and then of course I'm going to walk through step by step on exactly how to solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so uh, really make sure that you've read the prom. If you're like, okay, I want to, you know, I want to figure this out on my own, you know, maybe pause the video. And again, reading a problem one time is not going to be enough in order to kind of solve the problem. You really have to read this thing at least a couple, two or three times so you understand what's going on. But uh, even more importantly, you need to understand what these words right here mean, the median and the mean. Of course, I'm going to explain all of this, but let's go and take a look at the answer here. But remember, the question is, what is the mean? Okay, what is the mean? And the mean is 27.5. Okay, so that is the answer to this problem. So how'd you do? Okay, well, hopefully you got this right. And if that is the case, let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and a few stars so you can tell your friends and family that you solved a nice math problem involving the mean and the median. They'll be very impressed with that information. They'll be like, wow, you are awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. And first things first, uh, we're going to have to define the median and the mean. And a lot of students kind of confuse uh, these terms because obviously they look similar, right? But let's just make this super easy, okay? What we're talking about here is basic, uh, basic statistics, okay? We have something called the measures of central tendency. So let's say we have a bunch of numbers here. Uh, let me kind of go up here real quick and I'll get into this. Uh, just because I just can't help myself to, to make sure that those of you out there are a little bit confused about this, have the information you need. So let's say you have two, three, three, uh, five, seven, one, uh, six, and let's say uh, we had a four. Okay, so right here we have what we call some data. We got some information, right? So a bunch of numbers, and we call this a data set you know, just to kind of get fancy about it. But all these numbers, right, they kind of like span from one, you know, there's a bunch of numbers between two and three, four, then we got five and six. So one of the things that we want to do in like statistics is to try to kind of find some balance to this or some, or not balance, really kind of uh, examine this information and try to uh, look for trends, right? Try to find tendency uh, tendencies in this raw information and basically what we're talking about is the measures of central tendency okay now one of these things where if you had this bunch of information you're like hey i got all this information some of the stuff that you might want to uh, find out is hey what is the average of these numbers right that would tell us something about this data now it's not going to be fully representative of everything but it can certainly give us an indication on what's going on you know, to make this a little bit more practical, let's think about home values, right? So here you got some sort of city, town, whatever the case is. So if you said the average um, uh, cost of a home to you know to buy a home in this particular you know city or or town, let's say it's three hundred fifty thousand dollars, that's going to tell you something about possibly when you go looking at different houses you know, maybe kind of somewhat what, what you might you may expect in terms of prices, right? So if the average in this town is 350000 and you start go looking at homes for sale, you're kind of saying, well, maybe they'll be kind of around this price. Again, we're talking about measures of central tendency. So the average is one and the mean is just another fancy word for that average, okay? But there's another uh, 
way we can measure data, and this is a very common uh, way, and that's the median. Matter of fact, when it comes to um, you know financial news, especially things like if you are following the housing market, they often talk about the median home price. Okay, so what is the median home price? Uh, or, you know, just kind of as a representation of this word median is let's just go ahead and uh, let's say our little town had three um, homes in it. One house was 100,000, uh, uh, the next house was 200,000, and the next uh, house was 300,000. I don't know if you can see my little scribble down here. But if we order the homes, or we could think of the homes from least to greatest, that middle uh, number, that middle value is the median, okay? Meaning that half of the homes are less than the median, and 50% uh, uh, of the homes are greater than the median, okay? So, uh, for example, if, uh, let's say, town or city XYZ has a median home value of, oh, I don't know, let's say $300,000, what does that tell you? Well, it means out of all the houses in this town, half, exactly half, are going to be less than 300000 and exactly half are going to be more than 300000 So that's the median, okay? So we have the, uh, the mean, the median. You also have the range. You have something called the mode. You have things called the standard deviation, et cetera, et cetera. So anyways, uh, we're talking about the measures of central tendency, all right? This is really important stuff for all of you out there. Uh, you know, if you're looking at this problem, everybody, I feel like, you know, you shouldn't know what these terms mean. So you don't want to confuse the mean and median. Okay, so now that you know what the median and mean is, uh, hopefully you can do this problem. So that if that was what was confusing you about this problem, well, you know, it's not going to confuse you anymore. All right, so now we know that the median, okay, of our data, we have some numbers here that are represented by some variables, or variable terms. So we have x, 2x, 3x, and 5x. The median uh, is 25, all right? So we want to find the mean. Well, we're not going to be able to find the average until we figure out what these numbers are. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so here uh, we know that the median is 25, and we have our data here. So what we're going to want to do is uh, kind of order this um, these numbers. And of course, we don't know what the actual values are right now, but we want to order these um, from least to greatest. Okay, we're going to assume that we're dealing with positive uh, values here. So x would be the least number. 2x would be the next you know number line. We're basically go, we're going from lowest to highest. And then we would have 3x and then 5x would be the greatest number. Okay, so again, when it comes to the median, if you have three values, let's say like 2, 5, and 7, the median is the middle number. So if you have an odd uh, amount of numbers, like here I have three numbers, we can easily identify the middle number. But what happens if we have four numbers, like two, five, seven, and nine? So which one of these here is the middle number? Well, it's gonna be a tie between five and seven. So basically, when you have an even amount of numbers in your data set, you have to find the average between those two middle numbers, okay? So in this case, that's 2x and 3x. Uh, we got to find the average of these two here, okay? And that will be the median. So here, if we uh, wanted to find the median of this data, we would just take 5 plus 7, which, of course, would be 12. And then divide that by 2, that would be 6. So our, the median would be 6 in this little kind of example right there. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and use some algebra. We know the median is 25. So to find the median here, I would take the average of these two um, uh, numbers. Now, we don't know what they are, but we can certainly write a nice, lovely algebra uh, equation to represent what's going on. So 2x plus 3x divided by 2. I got two numbers, right? I'm going to take the average of these two numbers. So 2x plus 3x divided that by 2. Uh, that is going to be 25 or the median, okay? So now this really comes down to just solving this lovely equation right here. So 2x plus 3x, of course, will be 5x over 2, and that's going to be equal to 25. So let's go ahead and solve this equation for x. All right, the easiest way to solve this equation, 5x uh, over 2 is equal to 25, is just put that over 1, 25 over 1, and we can just use a cross product. 
or you can multiply both sides of the equation by uh, two-fifths. So basically, we're talking about basic algebra here. So when we do this, we're going to get 5x times 1, or 5x, and 2 times 25 is 50. And uh, to solve for x, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 5. So we're going to get 50 divided by 5 is 10, so x is equal to 10. Now, anything here that's giving you uh, uh, trouble, if you're like, ah, I don't really understand the basic equation solving or what you're kind of doing here, I'm going to uh, strongly suggest my pre-algebra course because I teach not only uh, you know basic equation solving, but I also have a chapter on data in there as well, measures of central tendency, all these things that we're discussing, units of measure, all that kind of good stuff that I think everybody should know in terms of kind of basic mathematics. All right, so x is equal to 10. So this is really going to uh, be the key now to finishing the problem. All right, so remember, our uh, our values is x, 2x, 3x, and 5x. But now we know x is equal to 10. So we're just going to plug in uh, for this x, uh, 10. We're going to replace all these x's with 10 and get actual values here. And then we'll find the average. All right, so x is equal to 10. Again, we're going to replace all these x's with 10s. So you can see that here. So x is 10, 2 times x, or 2 times 10. That's to be this number. 3 times 10 here, and then 5 times 10 right there. So this is going to be super easy. So our values, our actual values is 10. 2 times 10 is 20. 3 times 10 is 30. 5 times 10 is 50. So now we're going to find the mean or the average of our data set 10, 20, 30, and 50. So how do we find the average? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to add all these numbers up, and then we're going to divide by how, how many numbers we have, which, of course, are 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we'll get the right answer. All right, so 10 plus 20 is, of course, 30, plus 30 is 60, plus 50, that's 110, divided by 4. Feel free to use your calculator, and you get 27.5 as the mean. Okay, so... Again, you know, this is, I think, you know, real kind of uh, foundational, um, you know, math skills that everybody kind of should have, right? Because, you know, just in real life, you know, when you become an adult, you probably already are an adult. You know, I'm just kind of guessing those of you out there watching this video, you know, if you read, you know, if you watch the news or you read uh, the newspaper, or read your phone or whatever the case is, you hear these terms mean especially median, okay? And you want to have a good sense of what this stuff means. We're talking about basic statistics, okay? So when it comes to like this qu uh, this uh, question that every single math teacher has heard for hundreds of years, they're like, hey, when am I ever going to use this algebra stuff? You know, you know, yes, I get it. I mean, most of the time you're not going to be doing algebra equations on your day-to-day, -day, you know, uh, in your day-to-day -day life. But there is times you're going to, uh, you know, see uh, mathematical terms, and the better you understand this stuff, especially um, uh, terms that deal with data and statistics, these days, the better off you're going to be, the better off you're going to be in terms of understanding the world around you. Okay, so hopefully this little video was interesting, and if that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.